guys, I'm Nisha from nishahomi.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make cauliflower kurma. A very simple and easy curry, perfect with chapati, rice, roti or just about anything. Heat a kadai or a pan with about 2 tablespoon coconut oil. Once the oil is heated, add in half teaspoon cumin seeds or jeera. Once the jeera starts to splutter, add in 2 sliced onions. I use 2 medium sized onions. Now give it a mix. After about a minute, add in 2 slit green chilies, 1 inch ginger and 5 cloves of garlic crushed, 1 teaspoon salt. Now give this a mix and allow the onions to become transparent or light pink in color. While the onions are sorting, let's make the masala for the korma. Into my small blender jar, I'm adding in 6 whole cashew nuts, half cup grated coconut, 1 teaspoon couscous or poppy seeds, half teaspoon somph or perin jeerakam, and also adding in about 2 to 3 tablespoon of water to help it grind to a paste. I'm also adding in about 5 mint leaves. I forgot to add it earlier so I'm going to grind this again with the mint leaves. Okay now the coconut masala is ready. Now the onion is transparent and has started to turn into light brown. I'm adding in 1.5 teaspoon Kashmiri chilli powder, 1 teaspoon coriander powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder. Now give this a mix and let this saute on low flame for about a minute so that the raw flavor of the masalas will be diminished. After one minute, I'm adding in a sprig of fresh curry leaves. Give it a stir and now I'm adding in cauliflower pieces. Adding in one sliced tomato. Now mix this well. I'm adding in about half a cup of water. Now put the flame on high and allow this to boil. So now cover and cook the cauliflower. It's about 5 minutes now. The cauliflower is almost cooked. Just give it a mix and add in the ground coconut mix. I have added about 1 cup of water into that grinder and pouring the rest of the ground masala. Now give it a nice stir. I'm adding in 1 teaspoon garam masala. Again mix this well. And now cover and cook this again for another 5 minutes. It's about 5 minutes now. The cauliflower is cooked and the kurma is ready to serve. So lastly I'm sprinkling in some coriander leaves. About 2 to 3 tablespoon of chopped coriander leaves and lightly mix. You can check salt at this stage. So now I'm going to switch off the flame. Mm -hmm. 